G'day guys, my name's Dave from Guitar Zero to Hero. And in this video, I'm gonna be doing an unboxing and review of a guitar from one of the biggest guitar manufacturers in the world. And funnily enough, I've never actually played any of the guitars. So I'm gonna unbox it, let's see what's inside, and then I'm gonna take a couple of weeks to sit down, actually use it as my main guitar, and I'll come back with all the specs and a sound demonstration and all my thoughts on this particular guitar. Let's do the unboxing. All right, so as you can see, this is a Court guitar. So as I mentioned before, Court are the one of the biggest guitar manufacturers in the world. I've always known of the brand. I've always seen their guitars around, but I've never actually tried one. So I'm pretty excited to test this one out today and um, do a full review for it. As you can see, we get a padded soft case with this. So it's not a hard case, but it's not like one of those flimsy soft cases either. You can feel the rigidity in uh, this particular soft case. So it's um, gonna protect your guitar for sure, it feels like. But if you're gonna fly with this, I'd probably get a hard case. But anyway, let's have a look at the guitar. All right, so there she is. This is the Court Gold A6 in natural gloss finish. And wow, that headstock is awesome. Um, <laughs> get that instant new guitar smell, which is great. Let's um, take it out and have a look. Let's just see if there's anything else in this case. So we just have an Allen key, an extra bridge pin right there, and uh, a Fishman pickup manual. Now this is an all solid wood construction. So we got all solid mahogany back and sides and a solid Sitka spruce top which is a, a classic wood combination. You can rarely go wrong with that. Uh, one thing that I've instantly noticed though uh, is the fact that the neck isn't the same finish as the body which is really awesome and that's actually probably one of the biggest reasons why I generally don't tend to go with guitars with gloss finishes because I don't like the feel on the neck. I always find that they, it feels sticky to me. Um, it's not as smooth moving up and down for me typically. But you'll see the neck on this gold A6 is actually more of a satin finish which is awesome because um, that's the type of feel that I like on acoustic guitars because it, you know, it's a lot smoother in my opinion. But yeah, absolutely beautiful. I'm loving the rosette there. The, the headstock looks amazing and I'm always a sucker for gold hardware so I love the tuners on this. Um, they're open gear tuners. You can see that right there. Um, so it's got that sort of vintage look to it. And I think that's what they're kind of going for. But anyway, let's tune her up and see how she sounds. And luckily, it actually comes with an inbuilt tuner here. So you can see that small screen. This is the Fishman Flex pickup system, which is pretty cool. Let's see how it goes. All right, let's play it and see how it sounds. Pretty awesome. I'm, I'm loving the feel of this neck, to be honest. Um, and the, the warmth of this guitar is just, it's really, um, it's quite soothing. Let's uh, just strum it and see how it sounds. It's pretty good. I'm really impressed by the the tone. Um, you know, that torification process is designed to make it sound like a vintage guitar and that's what I'm hearing to my ears anyway. It's, it has that, that old vintage tone, which is really cool. Um, on first play, the, the, the neck is quite comfortable as well and and everything sounds really warm. Now I do want to note this isn't mic'd properly right now. I just have a shotgun mic above me, but I'm going to take two weeks to just play around with this as my main guitar. Then I'll come back with the full specs, the sound demonstration and my final thoughts. But just before I do that, I'm just going to take this plastic off the scratch plate. I don't know about you guys, but one of the most satisfying things to do when you get a new guitar 
uh, that has a scratch plate is to take that thin film of plastic off that acrylic. It's really satisfying in an odd way. Okay, so I've been playing this guitar now for about two weeks and I've got to say, I'm really impressed. It's got to be up there with my top three acoustic guitars that I currently own. The, the value that you get for the price point is actually insane. The way they've aged the top to make it sound like a more vintage sounding guitar is, is really incredible. What I really loved about this guitar was how warm it was. The low ends are really tight. They're not muddy at all. Um, so you get a really full bodied sound on this awesome guitar. So let's just run through some of the main specs. Obviously we got a solid Sitka spruce top that's been torrified. We got solid African mahogany back and sides. We have these gorgeous open gear tuners from Grover. 25.3 inch scale length, a one and three quarter inch nut width. The body is a grand auditorium cutaway shape, which in my opinion is probably the most versatile body shape you can get on an acoustic guitar because it's still big enough that you're getting big lush chords when strumming. It sounds great finger picked, but also you have access to these higher frets as well. So acoustic lead playing is great on a body shape like this. We've got a hand rolled fret edge treatment as well, which is actually quite noticeable when you, when you pick up this guitar and you put your fretting hand on it, it's really, really comfortable. So all the fret edges have been rolled. So yeah, nothing's sticking out. It's really a nice playing experience. The other thing I really like about this guitar is the design. The aesthetic in general, it's got that vintage look to it, but it's got these small little embellishments and details that I think really um, make it pop and add to it. So for example, this rosette's just beautiful. I love these little inlays here on the bridge, but I really like it how they've kept it simple with the fret markers on the fretboard with just these small little dots. In terms of downsides or negatives, there weren't really many. I've been playing this guitar exclusively for the last two weeks and I just really enjoyed the experience the whole time. The only thing I would say that is a little bit annoying is the tuner here on the Fishman pickup. So it's actually quite hard to read in this position. So when I'm trying to tune the guitar and I'm looking down at the normal playing position, I can't actually see where the needle is. So I have to actually kind of move the guitar forward a little bit to see the screen properly and then tweak the note. So I found that to be a little bit annoying when tuning up, but I use a clip-on tuner anyway, so it's not really that big of an issue, but just for the people who are gonna be relying on the tuner inbuilt on the guitar, it's a little bit of a hassle to do this back and forth, but it's not much of a downside if I'm being honest. The guitar itself plays so well, it sounds great, Acoustic, unplugged, it sounds great plugged in as well. So as I said earlier, great value for this guitar. It honestly could be priced much higher than it is and would still be considered value for money. So I really am quite impressed how they've been able to provide all of this, all of this tone and quality at that price point. All right, so I just wanna quickly talk about the Flex Blend pickup system that's included in this guitar, and it actually sounds so good. So it's a great system, it has an included tuner, so if you wanna turn on the tuner, just push this button here, hold it, and then the screen will turn on. But if we wanna turn it off, just do the same again. Now this knob functions as the on and off for the tuner, but also the volume, so let's turn it up. So this is currently unplugged. And then we'll turn up the volume. Now this middle knob here is the blend control. There's a high quality cardioid microphone just installed right here under the sound hole. So this middle knob will control how much of that microphone will be blended into the signal. And finally, we have the tone knob here. All the way counterclockwise, this is what Fishman recommend for individual notes. Fully clockwise, this is what Fishman recommend for hard strumming. And then we can go in between those two, and Fishman recommend this for finger picking. Now this tone knob actually functions as a phase control as well. 
So if you're playing live and your volume's up really high and you're getting a lot of feedback, you can push this phase button and that's gonna cut out a few of those lower frequencies to help reduce the amount of feedback you get. So I'm gonna spin the volume all the way up and you'll start to hear some feedback coming from my acoustic amp. And when I push this phase button, it's gonna cut out those frequencies and hopefully reduce that. So that's with the phase on, phase off, and then you get that feedback immediately. So it's a really handy feature, especially if you're playing live and you're having problems with that feedback from either your foldback or your amp. Anyway, let's take a listen to the guitar and how it sounds.
So I hope you guys have enjoyed my review here for the Court Gold A6 in gloss finish. This also comes in a satin finish as well. In summary, could I recommend this guitar? Absolutely. If you're looking at a guitar at this particular price point, you know, this is definitely one to consider. So head into your local guitar store, try it out and see for yourself. If you have any questions about this guitar, leave them in the comments below. But otherwise, hit that like button, hit subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time on Guitars Already Hero. Cheers.